Hello there, this is Michael Feely at uh, Litchfield Cathedral. Just going to go in there and have a look at what we can see. This is one of the places that have given me permission to do a group tour, so watch this space. So, Bishop, who works at the cathedral, means he, he was awake. Cathedral means seat, and seat means heart set. So it's talking about your spiritual centre. And, of course, the throne of his glory. Throne also means seat. So let's go in there and see what we can see. So, behind you can see the Yonli, which is really the church is the womb where the Christians are the fetus and the altar means place of sacrifice and the womb is also a place of sacrifice because when we come from a celestial to a terrestrial place and we get birthed into this third dimensional realm we do sacrifice ourselves so you can see all the architecture of the church and the pointed archway is actually the Yoni it's obviously where we get birthed into this reality There you can see the eagle. The eagle is significant because it has a numerical value of 73, which is also the numerical value of Jesus. The eagle is the language of the birds, which is really the divine perception, because you can see a bird's eye view when you're divine. Egypt. This is an Egypt section of this particular cathedral. If I can just turn the camera around for you to see. So the Sphinx is really the story of self and how to establish the self, the divine self. And the face of the Sphinx is the outer countenance of the inner transformation. So really the Sphinx is all about man and the transmutation of man and the Sphinx relates to that. And the face is the inner expression as an outer, also as an outer expression. Here's the Knights Templar. <coughs> yeah, the Knights Templar were the priests of the Temple of Yahweh, and they hid a lot of information away from the Church of Rome. And they hid some of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which I've located within Roslyn Chapel in Scotland. And the information that they have is quite significant. It could actually bring down the Church. <coughs> There you can see the Pope's mitre hat. The mitre, as people call the fish hat, is also significant because in Egyptian, fish and spine are the same word, semek. The spine is the highway to enlightenment to Christ. And the serpent, the Kundalini, that gets risen by the isle of the spine, the anointed, is really the vehicle for messianic consciousness. So when you see the church, the Pope with his hat, it is really talking about the highway to the mind, to Golgotha, the place of schools. And there we see the star of Venus, the number eight. And I'm just approaching now a baptismal font, which also has eight sides. The number eight is the end of terrestrial existence. It's the number one, it's a higher octave. And it is also the covenant with God. Because in Hebrew, in Judaism, the child gets circumcised day eight. So number eight is the covenant with God. So Egypt, again, is, is really the original Bible, written in stone. And the word stone means father and son and the biblical cornerstone is the first stone that was built which is normally in a northeast direction north is dark east is light so therefore the cornerstone is between light and dark so here we can see a statue with a dragon at his feet the dragon is really the four elements fire, the air, 
the scales, which are the fish, and the claws in the ground, the four elements. It's telling you that this particular person has mastered the four elements, which is the god within, to become the godhead. So there you go, this was just a short video. There's so much in these places that you could look around. You could be here for hours, which is why I'm going to do a group tour around this place. It's a wonderful building, so much language, so much information hidden that people don't normally ever get to hear or know. So look out for my tour, and all details will be on my website, www.michael-feely.com. So thank you for listening today, and I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of information about the Easter